YouTube! What's going on? Zero Magnum X here. This is my response video to something that just happened. Uh, the text on Reflect here got changed. The J roller side is still the same, but Reflect here got kind of a, uh, a balance check, if you will. Um, they made it so you can only use it on your turn. Also, I, I want to take a little bit of a, a, a side section here and say something. Everybody who's commenting on game two of the video that says I couldn't stack the triggers on this guy, uh, you absolutely can. Well, not now, but you could uh, because this was just once uh, per turn, period. Uh, and the effect says right here. Or recover target resonator at the end of turn. It doesn't specify at the end of the next turn, which is important to note. Or it doesn't specify the end of your next turn, which is important to note. And because it does not say that, and I think that's the reasoning behind it, you could produce three mana out of this guy at your opponent's end phase. Maybe even like five or six mana if you kept being able to stack triggers on it. Okay, so, moving on, uh, the errata is weird. Personally, I think it's going to slow down control decks and combo decks. I don't think it's going to do anything to the aggressive decks. I understand that they don't want as many matches going to time. I understand that they're trying to give variety in their game. I think Reflect and Refrain is still going to be the top deck. Uh, we're talking like aggressive Knight of the Round Table decks. We're talking about good red X decks, red blue, red white, red blue white. Uh, and that's the problem. Red is made so, so well in this game. It is so potent and powerful that archetypes are just being made around those colors. Reflect and Refrain actually brought diversity to the meta. It actually allowed you to play like my win light control list or Turbo Arthur as it's called. It allowed you to play just a variety of different strategies. It allowed combo to actually be a thing. Just to like have turn after turn and do cool stuff and win. Uh, so that in mind, I think all this accomplishes of only being able to be on your turn is the aggressive strategies. Uh, I'll give you an example, right? So, we have some cards sitting here. And one of the cards that stuck out to me that gave this deck a whole ton of power is this. All right. What this card gave the deck access to was the ability to find answers. Like, my opponent plays a really, really threatening Resonator, and I don't have a Zeke's in hand to deal with it. Okay, so I this is on the field, maybe two of them, and I use Reflexibility to draw a card and send one to the bottom. Okay, this allowed me to dig three cards deep and find another card, pushing me to being able to find a Zeke's, and being able to answer something like their Lancelot. Which gave this deck a lot of amazing early plays that it no longer has. So what's that mean for the meta? I really think it means that the aggressive blue-red decks that everybody complains about and are the focal point of the Reflect and Refrain problem right now are going to be better, not worse. Because number one, you remove the defensive buff that this card used to give. So like cards like Artemis Bow that you could attack through are now stronger, but yet if they want, but only if, you know, you're blocking, right? So, like, if you're blocking with your Resonator, you can't buff it to get it away from something like Artemis Bow. But, on attacks, you're good, right? So it makes Artemis Bow worse on the defensive, because that card is being used in every single deck. So it makes blocking much more difficult, and it makes aggressive strategies a lot stronger. So I think with that in mind, we're going to have the same kind of issues that we did with Blazer Knights now, and, I, I mean, kind of, sort of, Bahamut, is, and we're going to be pushed into an aggressive meta, and Control's going to suffer a lot. And I know 
there are a lot, a lot, a lot of control players out there who really just enjoy combo and control t style builds. And, I mean, basically we're looking at a new, again, Red X meta. It's going to be Red Mirror matches like it was. I mean, that's not diversity. That's going back. And I don't personally feel like we're going to get anywhere. With the errata, I, I think it did nothing but make the decks that are already good just better, and it made the decks that it gave diversity to a little bit worse. Uh, so, I mean, everybody wants this card hit, but now because it is hit, so are the decks, I believe. It's just, it's a weird thing to do. Like, I mean, I, do I disagree with balancing it? My opinion doesn't matter. I mean, what's done is done. The uh, the issue is is how it's going to impact the meta if this is a mistake or not, if it's going to make some decks now just more invalid than they were. So we'll see. Uh, anyway, I hope you like this discussion video. I normally don't do a lot of these, but these were my opinions. Uh, this is my re this is more of a reaction video to it being eroded, and that's all, everybody. So. Uh, Take care and have a good one. Peace, YouTube. Later, everybody.